Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing this Azure Beauty Dipping Powder Kit. It comes with four dip powders. It comes with five gels, a bond, base, activator, top, and brush saver. Also, it has a one nail fowler, one nail polisher. It comes with a wooden stick to push back your cuticles. It also comes with a cuticle oil, which I love. <laughs> and then it comes with a nail brush for you to remove any excess powders and everything like that. So all of these items were great quality. I really like them. And as you can see, I'm going to be adding some cute little rhinestones to my nails. And this is optional. I also pur purchased some um, fake nails from Amazon. I have a little acetone. And I have my nail file that I'll be using and also a nail cutter. So here are the instructions. Okay, first you want to start by sanitizing your hands and pushing back your cuticles with the wooden stick that came with the kit. Next, I'm just using my electric nail drill file to buff my nails out. But before you do this step, you would have shaped your nails. But my nails are so short, so I'm not going to worry about shaping them. And you can also use the nail file that the kit came with if this is easier for you. I just feel like using my buffer is quicker for me. Now I'm just going to use some rubbing alcohol to remove all of the excess natural oil from my nails. I ordered these nail tips off of Amazon. They're basically like a coffin shape. I really love coffin shape on my nails. It just makes my hands look more, I guess, slender. I hate when the nail looks really um, bulky and wide. And these nail tips were pretty good. So I would suggest purchasing these. And I use some um, nail glue from Kiss. Here I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the rest of the nail tips. I'm going to go for a shorter length just because currently I'm playing piano. <laughs> Fun fact about me. But yeah, um, I can't have long nails playing piano. Actually, this is still a little too long, but it's better than what it could be. I'm just shaping the nails now and I'm making them very, very narrow and squared on top just because when you add the dip powder, it's going to make the nails thicker and a little bit more bulky. So the more narrow, the easier it's going to be to shape at the end. So hopefully you can see the colors of these powders pretty well in this video. I'm hoping you can at least, but I'm not going to use the pink, just the lavender and the glitter. And I'm starting off with this bond and you apply one layer of bond to your natural nails. You do not need to worry about putting this on your nail tips at all. So the second step is applying the first layer of base and I'm going to start by applying a layer of base to the tip of my nail where I, of course I have the fake nail tips on and this is going to help build the shape of my nail but also make my tip stronger. As you can see I am dipping my nail in a 45 degree angle and I brush off the rest of the powder if needed but at this point I don't feel the need to really brush too much powder off I just do like a little hit on my finger and that's enough also if you do not have clear powder this is okay it's not essential and you can skip this step After I finish dipping all of my tips first in the clear powder, then I'm going to apply base and I'm going to start doing a full coat of base on my entire nail and dipping it in the clear powder now.
One thing to remember when adding this base to your nail, to the entire nail nail, you do not want to get the base on your cuticle because the powder picks up wherever the base is and you do not want to get the powder to be stuck on your skin. So try really hard to just make sure that you are only getting the base on the actual nail and not on your cuticles. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and start using the color lavender dip powder and I want to make sure that I get my nail covered with this base so it can pick up as much of the powder as possible and I'm using my brush to wipe off all excess powder still and I'm going to use the glitter powder on one nail but I'm not going to use it on all the other nails so it will be like my little feature nail. But I did notice when I was using this powder that it looked a little bit more transparent to me with the first layer. So of course I'm going to go back in for layer two and see how it looks because it may need a third layer. It's not a game. It's a red skin. Moving on to my second round of my dip, I started to see that I felt that the color was going to be pretty much um, solid looking enough to say, okay, I don't need the third layer. But if you do feel that your color is more transparent and you need another layer, then I would suggest it because it, you do not want your nails to look like you know see-through so make sure that you add a third layer if you feel the need to add it finally I am now using my last coat of dip powder and you don't even have to do this but I felt the need to do it just in case when I was filing my nails I didn't want to file off any color so anytime you feel that the color won't sustain on its own add another layer of clear for the third step I'll be applying just one layer of the activator to the entire nail and then after that I'm not going to touch the nails and I'm going to let them dry for about two minutes and I'm going to use my phone to time it. Finally, I'm adding the top coat, which is the last step, and I apply it to the full nail. And I let it dry for two minutes, but I really didn't have to do this because I was adding the rhinestones. And if you add the rhinestones while the top coat is still wet, they'll stick perfectly. You don't need any glue or anything like that. So here I am applying these cute little rhinestones. And then after, I'm gonna apply one more um, top coat and then I'm going to let it dry for two minutes
So this is my favorite part. I love getting the cuticle oil put on my fingers at the nail shop. It's just girls everything. But anyways, I wanted to say with this top coat, it's not really my favorite. I like a thicker gel top coat than this one, but it still did the job. So I, I you know, I would rank it maybe like a 3.5 out of five. But however, this Azure kit is everything i really liked it purchased it with my own money and i highly recommend you to try it if you're interested in doing your own dip nails it's really easy and great for beginners so i hope you enjoyed this video